What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Alex's Toy Show Super Bowl predictions. I know you're wondering, uh, you know, where to place your money if you're be if you're a gambling person, or who's going to play tonight, or who's even going to win tonight. My question is terrible. Did you happen to see the professional football contest on television last night? Excuse oh, you didn't. Me, boys oh, and girls. Excuse me. When does it start? It starts. I don't know when it starts. I think it starts at six. Don't know. I, we're gonna say six o'clock. How's that? Six? Okay. My mom and me, we're going to watch it. Okay. I think we're all going to watch it. Uh, okay, so no, you didn't see the game? It was most exhilarating. The Seahawks of Seattle took on the Patriots of New England. And in the end, the Seahawks triumphed by kicking an oblong ball made of pigskin through a big H. It was most exhilarating. What? doesn't matter who's going to win the football game because it is three weeks until uh, pitchers and catchers report to baseball. Spring training is upon us. Now, if you're wondering what the Yankees are looking like, I don't know half of these people. It's, I feel like that episode of Family Guy where uh, Peter doesn't understand seven of the words that are in the sentence that somebody spoke or something like that. I, I, I don't, uh, don't recall. What do you think about the Yankees this year, Fe Feisty Pants? Yeah, I don't know either. Uh, so, starting rotation, CC Sabathia looking pretty healthy. Ivan Nova did pretty well. Masahiro Tanaka looked like he's coming back. Michael Pineda is probably going to be in there. And then I'm guessing Andrew Miller or Chris Capuano is going to fill that fifth spot. Uh, Dylan Betances is closing. They have a number of other people in the bullpen. Uh, behind the plate, it looks like they're sticking with Brian McCann. I'm expecting him to have a solid, you know, kind of season because uh, last year was his first year with the Yankees. He was a little hurt. I think this year he's going to be better off. I think they know how to rest him now. They got John Ryan Murphy and Austin Romine to back him up, you know, the little platoon action. Uh, around the horn, Mark Teixeira. Stephen Drew, I'm thinking, is going to take second base unless they go get somebody else at this point because, you know, it's early. Uh, they signed this kid from the middle of nowhere. Uh, Didi Gregorius, uh, apparently the Yankees see something in him. We shall see as fans. Um, I, uh, I remain optimistic. <laughs> That's about all I could say. Brendan Ryan and Chase Headley. Um, I, I see them playing, uh, I see Chase Headley doing more of the work at third base. I see Brendan Ryan, you know, giving days off here and there at third base, second base, and even shortstop. And you know what I don't see is Alex Rodriguez. Get him the hell out of here. Thanks. Nobody wants him on the team. I bet if you were to offer to trade him for free with nothing in return, other teams would still not take him. Still. He sucks. He's just a, he's a big letdown. He's a giant liar. I don't want him on my team. I don't care. I don't even care. I don't care if he goes and hits 100 home runs this year. Bye. Seacrest out. That's what we're going to say to that guy. Uh, in the outfield, I love Brett Gardner in center field. I don't know if that's going to you know, be a factor. He might take over and left with Jac Jacoby Ellsbury taking center. Uh, I see Carlos Beltran, a steady and right, and they brought back uh, Chris Young that they picked up last year from the Mets, uh, who did phenomenal with the Yankees in about a week's time. <laughs> so he'll um, he'll probably platoon and give some people some days off. <sighs> if only Andy Van Slyke was still playing, he could totally take over center field and show people a thing or two. But that's not the case. Andy is well retired. Um, that is about it. So with the Super Bowl, uh, really, honestly, I think the Seahawks are going to pull this off. Um, that, that kid they got at quarterback, obviously you guys don't understand. I don't really watch football at all. The only football I do watch is the Super Bowl, and I watch it for the commercials primarily. I actually have it on DVR tonight, so I can, you know, in case I miss any commercials, I can go back and see how funny they were. Maybe I'll post a few of the funny ones. I'll do some little recording and... You know, post it. <laughs> post it. Okay, that's not funny at all. Uh, but I do think the Seahawks are going to pull this off. They uh, they had some incredible five minutes in the end of the game last week. Last week? The week before where, um, you know, they took out Green Bay in a matter of five minutes and won the game. And uh, I think they can pull that off against the Patriots. That's all I got. Feisty Pants, you got anything for Super Bowl predictions? Nope. Baseball predictions? Anything on the Yankees? Yeah. No. We're just going to play? We're just going to play. Like this video, leave us a comment, and subscribe for more.